Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to real quickly guide your users through a new dashboard that they haven't seen yet. This is great for executives that aren't familiar with dashboards or anything like that. So basically, all that we're going to do is include a little icon up here with a little tool tip to say, click to see how to interrogate this dashboard. So this process is pretty simple. Uh, first, record yourselves walking through the dashboard and then publish it to some web server. In my case, I'm using YouTube. Uh, then you can come over to a worksheet and we'll just create that YouTube icon. Um, so I already created a, a placeholder and it's just some value. I just put L in there. Um, what I want to do is go then to create a shape and I'm going to put my placeholder on my shape there. All right, so this is already defaulting to my uh, YouTube icon. So I have this as a custom shape. If you don't know how to use custom shapes, just look that up. We've got plenty of videos on how to do that. Okay, so I'm comfortable with the way that this looks. Um, I don't like those spaces up there, so I'm going to create quotes there and there, and this will allow me to just hide this stuff. I don't want to show header for any of that. And then I don't like those lines up there either, so maybe I'll change my formatting. Just get rid of my row divider. Okay, so now there's none of those lines up there. All right, so now I've got my sheet four. I can rename this YouTube. Come back to my analysis over here. Here's YouTube. I want to select floating over there, or I could keep it tiled if I want, and then just drag it out. And I don't want that little legend up there, so I can take that out as well. I don't want a title, hide that. And I want to take this to about that size and make it fit the entire view. Okay, so now I'm clicking this, it's not launching anything. Oops, forgot one other step. Let's take out this tool tip and we can edit it with whatever text we want. So click to see how to look at this dash. We don't want to include the command button there either. All right, so we go over here, or back to our original one, and now we just add in an action. So I'm gonna say dashboard, actions, and we'll add an action, a URL action. So when they select YouTube, they will go to your YouTube site, okay? And that's pretty much all it is. So this will launch a little web browser and there's my site.